Hello everyone, this is a tutorial on the content library and how to upload files into it. The content library is located right up here at the top and it's a hundred megabytes of space on our servers that you can host all of your various files that you want to go and show inside your meetings. In order to access it, go ahead and click on the content library button right here, which will take me to the content library menu. Now here you can see I don't have any files uploaded yet, 0 out megabytes out of 100 megabytes, and I can take a look at the suggested file types that we support. And here they are, and feel free to peruse these at your own leisure. Let's go ahead and close this down. Now that I want to get a file in there, I'm going to go ahead and click on Upload to Content Library up here at the top. Now there are several things to think about when uploading a file. First off, the maximum size is 100 megabytes. Try to use standard fonts if it's a PowerPoint file. Please remove any passwords from the PowerPoint file and remove any sort of embedded content that you have. Now if it has any PowerPoint animations, I can preserve those by toggling this check mark here. Then I just click Browse, double click on the file that I would like to upload, and click the Upload button. After a short uploading and conversion process, I will finally be greeted with a screen congratulating me on my content being finished. And here we are right here. Once done, I can click on this link right here in order to upload another file into my content library if I so choose. Now in order to get to this content from inside a meeting, I'm going to go ahead and click on this content library button on the lower left hand corner of my PowerPoint slides. You're going to see all content library files listed right here, and if I have multiple pages worth, I can navigate to them using these two links. I can also get back to the down, uh, default slides via that link there. Congratulations! You now know how to upload a file into your content library and access it from inside your meeting.